During my teenage years in the 1970s, I heard a lot of preachers say that sin is missing the mark. I can remember one preacher saying, sin is simply missing the mark. What does that mean? I had, I had no idea what that meant. Over the years, I've read Bible dictionaries and definitions of the word sin, and they all seem to say the same thing, that sin means to miss the mark. I've, I've heard it said that uh, in Greek times when they had archery in the Olympics, uh, that when the archer would um, send the arrow, that if it missed the, uh, the, the, the board, the judge at the end would yell out, sin. In other words, the arrow missed the mark. I don't know if that's true. Sounds good. <laughs> um, but for me, that definition of missing the mark hasn't been good enough. It's only since I've come into a revelation of the new covenant that I'm getting it. See, we are all born with a sin nature. But a one-year-old doesn't say, let's go and rob a car. Let's go and lie. Let's commit adultery. Let's uh, rob a bank. Because we tend to think that those things that I've just mentioned is sin. We, our default thinking is that sin is only a behavior, that it's an action. But in a new covenant context, now remember, we are new covenant believers and we are reading the Bible through a new covenant filter. We see life through new covenant glasses now. In a new covenant context, sin is not what you have, it's what you don't have. So sin is not a behavior, it's not a desire to sin. Sin is unbelief in what we don't have, which is the righteousness of God. It's not having the love of God. It's not having our identity in God. So it's what we don't have. It's an unbelief in Christ. It's an unbelief in the kingdom. It's an unbelief in the finished work of Christ. That is sin. Uh, I think of uh, uh, that scripture in Romans that says, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So that's sin. It's a falling short of something. The glory of God. It's a falling short of God's view and opinion, which is the Greek word doxa. Doxa is, is the Greek word for glory, meaning uh, how God sees things, uh, how God feels, how God looks, who God is. That's the glory of God. His person. And when we are born, we have fallen short of that glory. We don't possess it. It's not in us. So when we say sin is missing the mark, sin is not something we have, which is a sin nature. Sin is missing the mark of what we don't have, which is God's glory, seeing God's glory, knowing God's glory, living out of God's glory. So, is sin missing the mark? Absolutely. But hopefully that helps you understand that it's missing the mark of the, of the glory of God. It's missing everything that God is, his kingdom, everything that he says, his words, his nature. And when we don't have that, we've missed it. We've missed the mark. 